Hello, I'm Graham Brown Martin, author, broadcaster, and specialist advisor on transformation. By joining up the dots on global political, social, economic, and technological trends, I help governments and other organizations navigate the future. My focus is on how individuals, organizations, and society itself learn to thrive in a rapidly transforming and challenging world. My specialist areas are education and the future of learning, the future of work and future skills, how we develop and nurture innovation cultures, and how we design leadership for the fourth industrial revolution and beyond. I tend to look at technological progress, which I'm enormously excited about, but in the context of people and humans and how we use that to liberate ourselves. I think a lot of us would like to think of education as, uh, as really uh, providing um, present and future generations with the knowledge and skills um, so they can thrive uh, in this rapidly transforming world. Of course, another way of looking at education is that it's intended to provide human capital for an economic development plan. As that plan changes, as the economy changes, however, we're going to need different kinds of, of people coming out of that. And as we enter in a world which is characterized by automation and artificial intelligence and so forth, we no longer have to train young people or, or people of any age to compete with machines. There are numbers of areas where we beat machines and beat AI. And I think we are, these are the areas that we need to expand and, and nurture. So often I'm asked in my commercial practice and innovation consultancy is how um, do companies not become the Kodak or the Blackberry of their sector? And I think a lot of businesses are concerned about that. I think anything that we can do to recognize and tackle our innovation immune systems within organizations allow us to develop an innovation culture that allows us to sust have sustained collaborative innovation as opposed to outsourcing it to an external organization. Because I think once you do that, once you fail to innovate within your own organization, I think your days are numbered. So my view is that the, the global economy will be disrupted in some form, but not in a way where everything stops, but I think it will, will hopefully migrate to a new kind of economy, which is based around the circular economy, which is based around this idea of renewables and regenerative economy. But what that means to society, what that means for education, the future work and everything else, is that we're going to enter into a new golden age of innovation and creativity, where every product and service that we can think of will be reimagined. So far from there being not enough jobs in the future, I think there'll be far too many. And my from one, I'm optimistic and excited about this new future.